interdigital neuroma, Morton's neuroma. It is a compressive neuropathy of the interdigital nerve. It occurs most commonly in the third interspace. Perineural fibrosis and entrapment of the interdigital nerve may be the cause of this problem. The patient usually describes a forefoot pain on the plantar aspect of the foot, especially during standing and walking. This usually is associated with radiation of tingling and burning into the toes that are affected. The pain is usually localized to a specific area and it does not involve the entire forefoot. It occurs predominantly between 3 and 4 whip space in 80% of the time and between 2 and 3 whip space 20% of the time. The pain radiating distally about 60% of the time and numbness in about 40%. When you examine the patient, the area of focal and localized tenderness is in the plantar web space and not over the joints. The interdigital neuroma or Morton's neuroma occurs in middle-aged females with forefoot pain, which is worse with show wear. The pain is worse with weight bearing or wearing tight shoes with high heels. The weight transfer to the metatarsal head will aggravate the condition and those flexion of the toes will also aggravate the condition. The symptoms are relieved by removing the shoes and massaging the foot. The parathesia is most commonly on the plantar aspect of the web space. So the patient will have chronic pain in the inter space between the third and the fourth toes that occasionally radiates down distally into the toes and the foot exam is normal. Compression test of the web space may be positive. Mulder's sign can help in the diagnosis. Compressing the metatarsals medially and laterally means squeezing them while pushing on the plantar tissue dorsally. The bursal tissue may create a click, and if it happens, that's a classic test. Ultrasound and MRI is helpful but usually is not as good as the history and physical examination. MRI has a very limited role in the diagnosis of Morton's neuroma. EMG and nerve studies are of little benefit. The history and physical exam is the gold standard for the diagnosis of interdigital neuroma. You can add diagnostic injection to see the result. Injection of local anesthesia into the area of the interdigital nerve can be diagnostic for Morton's neuroma. Differential diagnosis of Morton's neuroma, metatarsalgia, rule out a stress fracture, X-rays are helpful in excluding metatarsal stress fractures. MTP synovitis, consider it especially after digital nerve block. Complex regional pain syndrome, arthritis, osteonecrosis of the metatarsal head, neoplasm or lumbar diculopathy. Treatment. The conservative treatment usually shoe wear modification, no high heels, no tight shoes. Steroid injection will give relief in one third of the patients with multiple injections. Injection is usually done dorsally. It may be more diagnostic than therapeutic.
surgeon can be neurect to me. You do that after failure of non-operative treatment. You can approach the neuroma through dorsal or plantar approach. Dorsal approach is the one that's commonly used. You will incise the transverse metatarsal ligament. You will resect the nerve three centimeter proximal to the metatarsal heads. You bury the proximal stump within the intrinsic muscles. If the neuroma is recurrent, then there might be a retained neuroma distal to the metatarsal heads. In this case, you may want to do surgery through the plantar approach, and you may want to do the resection of the nerve and transpose it to muscle on the plantar foot. There might be about 70% success rate. The most likely cause of recurrent symptoms following excision of a third web-spaced neuroma is a traumatic neuroma tethered by plantar neural branches. So when a recurrent neuroma occurs at the end of the resected nerve, it doesn't retract far enough because the transection may not be far proximal enough or it may be tethered by the plantar neural branches. Stem neuroma may occur due to inadequate resection. Why surgery fails? Too distal resection of the common plantar nerve. Maybe there is a coexisting tarsal tunnel syndrome. Wrong diagnosis, wrong interdigital space. Thank you very much. I hope that was helpful.